Packers and Raiders, and this is our podcast, all about football. My name is Kayla, and I'll be talking about NFL games. I'm MJ, I'll be talking to you guys about NFL players and injuries. I'm Kyle, I'll be talking about fancy football. I'm Georgie, I'll be talking about NFL flag alike. I'm Annie Rose, and I'm here with your all-sport wildcard minute. Let's get right into the NFL games. The blowout of the week, Titans and Broncos. The score was 16-0, Broncos. Broncos won with three big interceptions. The must-see game of the week, Lions versus Packers, came down to the last field goal. The Packers could have scored, but to kill time right before they scored, Jamal Williams of the Packers sat down at the one with a big smile on his face. Then, Mason Crosby kicked the field goal on the last play. Packers won 23-22 against the Lions. The -the what-the-heck game of the week, 49ers versus Rams. 49ers won 20-7. 49ers won again. They are still undefeated after the fifth game of the season. Very surprising. My favorite game of the week, Patriots versus the Giants. Patriots won 35-14. to I love this game because it gave me 64 points. In fantasy, definitely won. The catch-up will be back after this quick commercial break. Let's get right back to where we left off and to MJ with NFL players. Thank you, Kayla. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Top three players, NFL Week 6, 2019. First, Stephon Diggs of the Vikings, three touchdowns in the last game. Second, Lamar Jackson of the Ravens made 152 rushing yards against the Bengals. Third, Nick Chubb of the Browns went almost 130 rush yards and had two touchdowns against the Seahawks. Chubb almost pinned the wings of those Seahawks, but not this time. Another win for the Hawks, 32-38. Let's go, Hawks! That's it, folks, for top three so far. Tell us what you think of awesome matches and writers. YouTube, just comment on uh, the catch-up video, and we'll listen. Time to head into the training room for breaking news. Biggest breaking news there is, is there wasn't much breaking news this week. Phew! Most notable injury. Will this leave the Seahawks torn ACL? No! Out for the season! Oh, no! Seahawks' best catcher is down. It's also on my fantasy. Okay. That's all I got for today. On to Kyle with fantasy football. Dick Catherine gets off with the best players of the week. Stefan Diggs with 42 points, Matt Ryan with 38 points, and Kirk Cousins with 36 points. That's one of the worst players of the week. Austin Eckler with 5 points, Cooper Cup with 5 points, Juju Smith-Schuster with 1 point, Mike Cooper with 1 point, and Jared Goff with 1 point. Hot waiver wire pickups. Jamal Williams running back for the Packers, Hunter Henry tight end for the Chargers. The people to start. Josh Allen against the Dolphins projected to get 22 points. Kyler Murray against the Giants projected to get 23 points. Landon Frenette against the Bengals projected to get 16 points. Now some people to sit. Nelson Aguilar against the Cowboys projected to get 7 points. Now I'm going to send it on to Georgia with, with the NFL flag play. Top news over the past week. All games were canceled due to the fires around the Los Angeles area. Awesome Actors and Writers would like to extend our heartfelt condolences to those affected by the fires and thank you, firefighters. Thank you, firefighters! Due to the fires, the standings will remain the same from the previous week. Here are some of the league leaders so far. Bradley Kaser passing leader on the Chargers and Julian Galvez, interception leader on the Dolphins. Okay, now let's catch up with the all-star players from the Las Vegas Raiders tournament scheduled for the end of the month. Hey, Bobby. It's been five years that you've been playing for NFL Flag LA. What are your strengths that gave you the edge to make it to the all-star team? I've showed up to every practice and all the games, and I have a great family that supports me and gets me everywhere that I need to be to compete. What does an all-star player have to prepare for this Las Vegas Raiders tournament? They are back-to-back games. The tournament's schedule is set up with 30-minute games and one-minute half times. Three games in the first round. If you win two, your team advances to the second round and goes on. What's the name of your all-star team? I'm playing for the Los Angeles Raiders. Since the tournament is at the new stadium in Las Vegas, all teams will be wearing Raider jerseys, a home team or away team. There are teams from all over the country. Hawaii Raiders, Texas Raiders, and so many more. It's going to be an awesome tournament. Thanks, Avi. 
Now time for the debate. Are the Chiefs still Super Bowl contenders after losing their second game in a row? No. I, I just think they're a little off um, these past few games. Uh, I still think they have a chance of making it to the Super Bowl. No team has a perfect season. But as, I, as we were saying last week, as it goes along with uh, non-luck. Well, Patrick Mahomes did hurt his ankle. Well, that might be one of the reasons why. And then also, the Texans are a really good team. Like, Deshaun Watson is a good player in their defense. Also, they have DeAndre Hopkins, which is a star wide receiver. That definitely makes them a lot better. Top five, probably. There have been lots of teams that have been real surprises to get to the Super Bowl, but also teams that have been surprises, like the Patriots, because they They have a good team. They just need to use it and actually yeah. I say win. they have a great team. With Tyreek Hill coming back, I think they could definitely still make it to the Super Bowl. Yeah, but since they're in the same division as the Patriots, they're going to have to meet the Patriots in the playoffs to get to the Super Bowl. The Patriots have the best defense in the league, and they have Tom Brady. So I don't know if they're Super Bowl contenders, but they are a good team. Well, we'll have to keep watching and hope that they win next week. Well, that's all for the debate. Join us after your regular NFL updates for All Sports Wild Card Minute up next. Hi, I'm Annie Rose. Today's Wild Card Minute is all about basketball. Here are some names to know. A local legend for Los Angeles, Hall of Fame center Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the NBA's all-time leading scorer. He won six NBA titles, five with Los Angeles Lakers, and he's been playing for over 20 years. Top three current basketball leaders from teams around the world. Candace Parker, player for the LA Sparks. Diana Taurasi, player for the UMMC Ekaterinburg of Russia. Kevin Durant, player for the Golden State Warriors. Fun quiz for all you basketball fans. I will give you three questions and write your answers in the comments. There are five players on the court during a basketball game. Which position is not real? A. Defensive forward. B. Bottom offense. C. Point guard. What's the 10 second rule in basketball? A. 10 seconds to shoot the ball. B. 10 seconds to get the ball to half court. Or C. 10 seconds to pass the ball. Now, does anyone know who is the shortest person to ever dunk in the NBA slam dunk contest? It's either A. Sim Bular, B. Sean Bradley, or C. Spud Webb. You can check your answers in the description of this episode. We'll have more wildcard minutes for you next week. Remember to call in your all sport highlight if you want to be featured in our podcast. Thanks for listening to The Catch Up!